Hello and welcome to our team Genesis Quick Start training today. But first, before we start, I want to thank you for being part of CTFO and our fast growing team. We appreciate all you do and have done so far in your CTFO business career. As part of your support team in CTFO, the team Genesis has put together a four step quick start cycle and the quick start guide, what I will talk about today is part of your new digital toolbox as well. If you don't have your digital toolbox yet, make sure you get your hands on it by sending an email to teamgenesis19 at gmail.com. teamgenesis19 at gmail.com. Put in the subject line digital toolbox and in the body, you have to put in your name as you registered with CTFO, your CTFO username and your CTFO ID number. We will then, and only in this format, with the info we requested, send you an email with the link for the toolbox. So you too can get off to a great start in your new CTFO independent home-based business. Now, the four-step quick start cycle obviously has four steps. First, as you see, register your free CTFO membership account and go through our CTFO checklist, which you have in your toolbox as well. It's a nice little roadmap for you to check off certain things that we think are important for when you start. Step number two, place your first minimum order, preferably on order ship. That's not mandatory, we know that, but we highly recommend you get on order ship. And here are a few reasons why. First, you receive 5% discount on top of your wholesale price. Always, it doesn't matter how many orders you place throughout the month. You can change or cancel your order ship at any time. You are getting your favorite CBD products automatically every month and you never run out. And you always will qualify to receive maximum commissions in your uni level bonus, in your matrix bonus, the infinity bonus, and such. And also, if you set yourself up on ordership and you teach your team to do the same, you start to automate your business, guys, which is so important. And last but not least here on our four-step quick start cycle, plug in to our free trainings and resources before you start promoting your CTFO business. There is a ton of training videos in our digital toolbox and other basic business building tools to help you get out the gate quickly. And today, I want to touch on the Quick Start Guide, which is also part of the toolbox, as I mentioned in an audio training. So you don't need to make any notes here today, just listen to what I say. say. Now let's get started with our Quick Start training. When we start a brand new business like CTFO, most people don't know what to do first and what to do next. Even though you have already some experience, many people and prospects that you enroll do not. So you want to be prepared for that and ready. This is a basic uh, starter training for all to get you and everyone on your team on track to financial success. However, if it comes to team building or growing a business like ours, there is no magic bullet on what works best or not. But we know from experience that regardless of how we like to promote our business and our products, in our profession, we should always duplicate a simple system consistently to a lot of people, but everything else is in addition to that. In our quick start training today, I share with you what we promote and duplicate. It's a simple system that will work for most people that you attract and enroll into your business. And those that never done network marketing and are not an expert in any specific marketing method. We know the simple system will work for all. And as an associate, you need to teach and duplicate it to all members that join your team. On the other hand, you also want to give those experienced marketers, the leaders, the business builders, the entrepreneurs that you hopefully enroll into your team, enough space and room so they can apply what they already know and have experienced in. For example, 
all the things they are good at in marketing, a business, and or a product. Those that have a track record. Yes, of course, some people like to advertise on Craigslist or social media. You know, the things they are good at. The internet marketers, the business to business marketers, or associates that don't mind and like to make cold calls or working lead list or meeting people in a local mall. Guys, I like all of it. However, I don't do them all. Why do you think that is? Because I don't consider myself an expert in some of these marketing options. You must keep in mind, many of these marketing techniques are not duplicatable for the masses, as many people don't know how to start or what to do first or next, nor do they have the money or time to become an expert in these areas as it will take too long to learn. Besides that, the majority of associates that join you in, uh, in your business do it because they simply want to earn an income fast. On the other hand, we obviously know there are people out there in our communities that have the experience in these different marketing areas. And our job is to attract them into our business, to balance our team and team building efforts, rather than learning all the details yourself first, what took them, the experts, many years to learn. So my uh, conclusion is, it's all about who you attract into your business that makes us more or less successful. The Quick Start Training has 12 steps, and it's what lead us in Team Genesis do and apply. It's more detailed on the audio training than what I share here with you today. However, you and every new member you enroll must follow and duplicate those steps as well. So we all are on the same page as one team that makes us stronger. Here we go, step number one. Now you enrolled with your sponsor and you have received your free websites, six of them, right? You now need to make a conscious decision on what you want to do with your business and in your business moving forward. And for me, there are only three choices. A, you want to earn a big residual income, as most of us want, by building a team of like-minded business builders, entrepreneurs, preferred and retail customers, and online marketers. Or B, you want to market and promote your free websites and CBD products online and offline or just create a customer base. This is what most small business owners like to do, including some internet marketers as well. And see, you simply want to enjoy being a preferred customer. Once you made your decision, text, email, or call your enroller and let them know that you are an A, B, or C. They want to know, you would like to know that too, right? Who is committed to roll up their sleeves, get to work, and is willing to run the extra mile with their sponsor and upline support team? Yes, we love all people in our CTFO business or that join us, but we don't depend on anyone. So we want to know who to spend our precious time with. Step number two, as a leader and network marketing professional, it's important to become a product of our products, which means you must place your own initial qualifying CTFO order first before you start building a team. How can you expect other team members to do anything you haven't done yourself yet? And I assume all of you listening here today have ordered your first product order already. Now, I believe the CBD products have been the reason for most of us, if not all, to join CTFO and because of that, we all want to experience our own product story as quickly as possible, right? And Senior Vice President Roland Rascon made it clear enough on our last call how important it is to try more than just one product as we have more personal stories to share and that will lead to more sales. Guys, please understand also that you want to measure your success in CTFO by how many orders you want to have on your books every day, week, or month, not just by the number of free enrollments joining your team, those that are doing nothing or not much and only occupy space in our genealogy. Yes, we all have them. However, it is a goal to maybe 
make 14 uh, orders in your first month or even in your first week on your books. Then increase your goal to three orders a day and so on by duplicating the system we are using. These orders, guys, uh, that have been placed throughout your personal enrollment line, they are not coming just from you. The more orders, the bigger your check. We all know that. You also want to go into your back office and find under the tools the rank advancement document and study it so you know what it takes to advance in our compensation plan because you always want to be a step ahead and know what you must do today to advance to the next rank. Now, sometimes a question comes up, Klaus, how do we get those associates that have not taken the action to place their first order yet uh, to do so? Well. It's not very complicated. We simply need to ask. Ask your personally enrolled associates. When are you ready to place your order? Or why did you enroll into this business? Get their commitment. And it doesn't need to be today. Just get the commitment and work with those that made that commitment to you. As leaders and business builders, we know we only get paid when products are moved. And it starts with us to place our first order and then teach others to do the same. We call that leading by example. Now, sometimes it's a personal call we make to our inactive members that gets the job done, not just by email or texting. Well, that doesn't work always, but at least we must give it a shot or try. You want to understand also their situation. Uh, there may be a valid reason for them not to have uh, placed their first order. Yes, we understand. Some people are financially strapped. And yes, we have a solution for that as well. But not 80% or more of those that we enroll have that challenge. So we have to call them and find out what their commitment is. Help teach your team uh, to duplicate what you do. If you don't do anything, then you can't expect others to do it for you or help you to build a business. That's not how team building works, guys. We all need to do our share if we want to collectively benefit in our profession and CTFO business. As I often say, if we all as a team do a little bit more today or this week than the previous day or week, and we teach and duplicate this throughout our team, we all win big time and all the time. And here is the secret. If we want to automate our CTFO business, right? So guess what? It starts with us being on ordership. Can you imagine having 10 people, 100 uh, customers or associates, or even 1,000 on ordership? That is true residual income. Guys, I want to share something. I still get a check from people on ordership that I have enrolled in a different business more than 15 years ago and that I haven't paid attention to for over a decade. That's what you get when you automate your business. As they say, one for all and all for one. That's how we build huge team where everyone does a little bit more, but consistently. In step number three, I explain on the Quick Start Guide audio how to order the first product order, but I'm not going into that today. Step four, it's very important. Always work on your contact list. If you are brand new in our network marketing profession, you want to start, create, and continuously build and grow your contact list. Guys, I built on my contact list for the last three decades by prospecting and adding new names of potential prospects to it. People you know and that you're familiar with. People you have names and emails and telephone numbers from or even business cards. Don't ever prejudge any of your contacts. You never know who they know and can introduce you to. Just put your contacts down on paper. I do that all the time uh, when I start a new business. It doesn't matter who they are. As I like to say, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, as many as you can, and always, and never forget that, ask for referrals. And then you qualify them with A, 
B, and C. The A's are the best people you know, the sharpest people you know, the most motivated contacts you know, entrepreneurs or experienced networkers. The B's, you don't know their characteristics yet, and they often also are family members. And obviously the C's are the complainers and the negative people. We all know them. You maybe want to call them even first to practice on, or if not, put them at the end. Even though we have many contacts on, your, your, on our phones and in other places, we write them down on a separate list and always think, who do you know that uh, you can add to your list? Most likely, you know a whole lot more than 25. Uh, you know, but uh, for now, start uh, and think about your top 25 people, those sharp people that you would hire as an owner for your own traditional company as maybe the vice president, those 18 people, right? And then 25 other people that you think may qualify or benefit uh, uh, for our amazing product line. Always think of your contact list as your most valuable asset. Never forget that. There are many other ways to add more people to your contact list other than the people that you already know, but that is for another training. However, you always want to start with your warm market first. That's what I did. And guys, I want to share a quick, sto a quick story. Hopefully it's quick. When I started and decided I wanted to go with CTFO about 15 months ago, I made a list of my top 25 business people, people that I wanted to, to work with, people I knew. So I contacted them all uh, you know, at first, and we didn't have even products yet. 16 of them joined me in the business. I don't remember, but uh, uh, we didn't have products. They came in three or four weeks later. So they just enrolled because of uh, uh, I shared the business with them. Eight of them uh, ordered the product and four of them duplicated, and I continue to enroll people until today. However, those people created, you know, uh, I, I don't even know exactly the number, but somewhere around 90,000 people. And now people say, Klaus, you can do it. No, it's not about me. It's about the people we attract. We want, when we start this business, attract the best people we know and want to build the business with together right from the beginning. That's how you become successful. Anyway, let's go on to step five. It's about your free CTFO marketing and lead capture website where your customer and customers and associates find everything they need to make an informed decision to join you. Step number six. If you have any question that can't be answered by your enroller or upline support team, you always can send an email to support at myctfo.com uh, uh, customer service email, or you can call the support line at 707-449-4567. All this info is also in your back office. Guys, here is step number seven. That is for me the most important step in our uh, quick start guide. Teach your team to apply and duplicate the CTFO business life cycle. In the word life, L-I-F-E, you find what it is we do. Look, invite, follow up, and educate. Look for prospects that are looking for something in the area of health, wellness, to make more money or about retirement. So all we do is we are looking for people who are looking for something, people we know or don't know, or those in our circle of influence. How we do that? We must ask by sifting and sorting through our contacts and applying the art of a conversation. I believe it's the same as going fishing, and you heard me saying that before. You use a fishing rod, some bait, and once you choose the right lake, you try to get the fish bite the bait. If no fish bites, you go a different part of the lake, right? If still if, uh, no fish bites, you find another lake. We do exact the exactly the same thing with people we meet or run into, know from our contact list or advertise to. We start to talk or call them and try to direct the outcome of our conversation to a certain answer by asking the right qualifying questions. 
so that the prospect grabs our bait and talks about their wants and needs and things they don't like in life or with their job. Now, some of our baits are, and you heard me saying it, health, wealth, anti-aging, time freedom, financial freedom, retirement, uh, and so on. Now, all we do is we listen for dissatisfactions and motivators in these areas. And what I mean by motivators is very simple. And here I like to use another analogy. If you live uh, uh, in a room or you sit in a room and the only heating uh, source is your fireplace and you have it nice and cozy and you read a book or whatever and it gets cold, guess what? You are motivated to get up from the couch and put another piece of wood in the fireplace, right? That's what motivators do. We need to find that uh, with people. And what you then simply say is to a contact, come, I know how you feel. I may have a solution that can help you with. Now you simply fill in the blank with whatever the conversation was about. And then you continue, uh, you continue again. Are you open-minded for more information about that? Guess what? Most people say yes because you offered a solution to their wants and needs and the things that they are dissatisfied with. In that case, just exchange contact information or ask for a business card at that moment and follow up within 24 hours to 48 hours. Why do you think that is so important? If you come across too strong with your business or product at the first contact, prospect will perceive you as a salesperson and will back off, even if you already know them. This is one of the reasons why people don't want to speak with their uh, friends and families in war market. Most people are sales resistant, me included. You must keep your emotions under control because emotions can kill a contact or prospect because we don't know yet how much or how little your prospect knows about our profession, CBD or business model. We want to find that out first. Keep in mind, whatever you do in your prospecting efforts, it's already and unknowingly a training for your prospect. So that's why you don't want to say too much and speak like a waterfall when you first meet somebody. Never forget, people don't want to be sold. They want to buy from you. And that's why first branding yourself as a professional and expert is so important as you grow your CTFO business. Remember, this is not a race. Be professional, consider, always give a compliment and be patient with your prospects. Next, you invite your new prospect. That is an I in life. You invite them to a live call or to a live meeting or have them watch a video. Did you watch the new video about the 10X Pure already? You better do that. Or send them an email. At the end, it's up to you how you like to conduct your business. Invite your prospects to evaluate our company and products and have them take a free position. Remember, they have nothing to lose, but a lot to gain. The F in follow-up, it's in, in life is follow-up, of course. All you do is you ask what they like best about the information they reviewed. But you only can do that when you pick up the phone. You cannot do that by email or text. Get the questions answered. Uh, do a possible three-way call with your enroller and encourage them to register for free if they haven't done so already. And the E is simple. Educate your new enrollee. Call them. Make them feel they are part of a team. Plug them into our si simple system we are using and help them to duplicate the business life cycle. As we know, not everybody you enroll is a super recruiter, as some of you are here today. And great news, you don't need to be. If you are teachable and you can follow directions, you will build the big network marketing business with CTFO over time. But first, you must become a good student before you become a great teacher. And it doesn't matter which profession you're coming from. And we need teachers and not necessarily salespeople. Keep in mind, if you don't sell, you're out of business. 
because our business is mainly about relationships building and team building. You know by now, we don't ask for any enrollment fees and we never will. And the reason for that is simple. We want you to use that extra money to pay for your first product order. Isn't it be great to have that uh, uh, you know, available? I believe with our free enrollment, most new members are capable of personally enrolling at least four associates with a qualifying order that are willing to duplicate what you just did, personally enrolling four active associates. Now, once you hit that goal, you are a qualified executive manager. Congratulations, great job. This should be your first goal you want to reach in your first four weeks or faster. I had people doing it in, in uh, uh, less than a week, which I didn't even do. After you made the conscious decision to start, of course. And keep in mind, some associates never decide. And that is okay. They are part of the 80 percenters. But the executive manager is the first and most important step on your way to vice president. Anybody can enroll as many active associates as they like. And it's encouraged, but don't just enroll and leave your members on their own. Help them to lock in their enrollment line. Call them and explain how our simple system works. Expect this activity to be executed by every personal involved active associate that wants to build with you a team of like-minded business builder and create that nice residual income that most likely continues to grow exponentially. Learning how to lock in your enrollment line and duplicating it is so important for your success. We have a choice to personally enroll none, one, four, five, 10, 50 or more associates that duplicate what we do. This is geometric growth, guys. All we do is adding one more ace at a time to our team of leaders and duplicate your efforts three levels deep. If you do that, you lock in another enrollment line. When you understand the power of duplication and you make the first circle, which is you, which is me, work, you can stop the orders from pouring in. Your leaders will continue to work their city of or business with or without you. I already have quite a few people that work it with or without me. That's what we want to accomplish. Something you want to achieve and look forward to. Step number eight, to build, grow, and market your CBD uh, business successfully, you want to create urgency at all times. And don't procrastinate, guys. We don't have the time for that. Do it today and not tomorrow. As Jim Rohn used to say, without the sense of urgency, desire loses its value. I know for a fact that for a new prospect to join you a day earlier or later can make a big difference in how fast you will grow your CTFO business. So urgency is of essence. Apply the income producing activities by focusing daily on prospecting and enrolling new activities to your team. Step number nine, take the time to study your password protected back office. This is a self-study and you don't need your CTFO support team or enroller for that. Step number 10, understand the power of the profit sharing positions. Where for every new personal enrollee over and above your first three you enrolled, you earn and qualify for an extra profit sharing position. The PSP position pays you in our matrix plan the same as your main position qualifies you for. Here's an important tip. For all that enrolled in CTFO in the last couple of days or don't have anyone on their first level in the matrix yet. If you are a great recruiter, you want to enroll as quickly as you can 12 new associates. Don't ask why, just do it. You can thank me later for that. Step 11, know your CTFO upline support team. Find out who they are, 
call, text, or email them and introduce yourself. We don't always know who in our team is a goal getter. Remember, there are 21 people that enrolled before you that get paid a royalty from your efforts in building a CTFO business. Those are the active leaders that are very much interested in your success. Take advantage of it. At least get to know your next upline VP, senior VP, and executive VP, beside your enroller, of course. Get good at doing three-way calls with your enroller and upline support team. Join as many opportunity meetings. Be available for all corporate call, upline team call, and Genesis Zoom webinars that we have every week on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, on Thursdays and Saturdays, same time, same links for webinars or calls. And always try to have new prospects uh, on those calls as well. And last but not least, step number 12, lead by example. Be the pace setter. Choose to be the leader with the servant's heart. Duplicate the simple system we use. And Teach to teach the sponsor three levels deep and you will reap. That is how you build a huge local, state, national, and soon international team that wants to grow and build a CTFO business with or without you. That's true residual income and leverage. Guys, go for it. You have nothing to lose. And before I close the call, I have a couple of announcements. We will not have a call next Wednesday uh, as uh, Janet Larson, our leader, is uh, still traveling and I'm uh, out of the office. And also, I want you all to start to invite all you can. We have a co-founder or our co-founder, Stuart Finger, uh, as a special guest, May the 15th, on our call for the first time with Team Genesis. He will do a presentation for us that will spin your head. I don't want to say much more. We don't want hundreds on that webinar, but we want hundreds more, guys. So put that in your calendar. Tell everybody in your team it's a must to be on that call. We will know who will be joining us on this call. So I hope that you do that. And other than that, thank you all for joining us today. And we simply see you at the top. Have a good weekend, guys.